All it takes to build a fantastic portfolio is a few well-calculated bets. You don't need a thousand trades. You don't need to be out here day trading on one minute charts. Warren Buffett said it best, you want to win in the investment game, you need to understand patience. One, you need to bet on teams. You can't bet on what you see going up on CoinGecko. When I started buying BNB in 2018, 2000, yeah, 2018 for $2, I was betting on CZ. When I bought PancakeSwap in 2020, after doing Clubhouse with CZ and him talking about the PancakeSwap team, you bet on builders, you bet on people because people are the ones that carry projects. One, two, you need to bet on narratives and trends. You do not wanna be out here in a place that has no attention and no liquidity. So that's the first part. The second part is understanding where a certain project is in their cycle. Are they in their inception stage? Are they in the area where it's just getting built? Are they already listed on Binance, which tends to signal a, a top or ten, tends to signal a area of less opportunity? And realizing how venture capital works, how raising money works inside of crypto projects and how token allocations take place. And realizing that once projects usually hit big listings, that's when token unlocks take place. That's when and big VCs dump on your ass. And the goal is to you not get wrecked. You need to be as far right, as close to the builders as possible, as early on as the stage as possible and betting on those individuals. I very rarely will go out and place a token allocation on something that's already listed on CoinMarketCap. Why? Because it's probably not at its inception stage. The, the risk is a lot higher. And with crypto, your portfolio can get nuked 50% in two days. So my objective is I need to find low risk high reward opportunities, which means low market cap, quality teams, and teams that are building upon a strong narrative and a strong trend that will inject liquidity in order for my portfolio to, to continue to perform well. And most, most people, they are out here buying when everybody else is buying. They're out here buying in the bull market. They're out here buying when the taxi driver is you know, checking his stock portfolio, his crypto portfolio while he's driving, as opposed to buying when the blood is out and buying when the candles are green and pumped and buying out of FOMO tends to be a recipe for disaster. And Warren Buffett said it best, but he talked about it in the stock market. I think it applies to investing in general. The concept of investing, and if you want to win in the investment game, you need to understand patience because wealth is usually transferred from the impatient to the patient. And if you build with long-term people, then there's a high probability of success. That's why the people that get wrecked, you usually sit down with them and you ask them, what do you have on your portfolio? Well, what do you know about the portfolio? What do you know about this token? What's the utility behind it? Oh, there's something that's worth $300 million market cap. Well, how much revenue do they generate? Oh, five grand? Eh, that seems like a price discrepancy right there between the market cap and the actual value proposition of the project. I think these are a couple of things that people need to be looking at and understanding that the markets will be here forever. They're not going anywhere. There's always more opportunity. You don't have to chase opportunity. You need to attract opportunity by positioning yourself in the right rooms. Last part with that is all it takes to build a fantastic portfolio is a few well-calculated bets. You don't need a thousand trades. You don't need to be out here day trading on one minute charts. You're gonna get fucking wrecked. You're trading against algorithms, you're trading against quants, you're trading against people that are market makers, you're trading against people that have order books and they can see the flows. That's a very dangerous game. I wanna play a couple, high sizable bets with winning teams, Jupiter for example, with winning builders, with people that I trust. And before I allocated multi seven figure play with, with Jupiter, my entire premise was, I'm, I wanna sit down with the homie. I wanna see what his vision is. I wanna see what he thinks. He's never talked to me about price. He's never talked to me about anything except how many users he wants to onboard in crypto. And that's the mission and rally that I'm, that I'm able to put forth. Now, I did the same thing with Luca Nets and Pudgy Penguins, and I mentioned, mentioned this to you. The name of the game is coming in and getting involved with projects and teams when the blood is in the streets, when everybody's fighting it, when everybody is running for the door. That's when you want to find the winning teams and the people that have a long-term vision and rallying behind them, sticking behind them, and empowering them to move forward. Here's the beauty. With crypto, you have the ability to talk to founders. You can get into the Discord, you can yes. get into the communities, and you can get to know them, right, at a personal level.